Information Obesity Today, I delve into the overwhelming flood of information that saturates our lives and explore the phenomenon of information obesity that afflicts our minds. The question arises, is this deluge of information beneficial, or does it contribute to the cluttering of our cognitive processes? Moreover, what strategies does the media employ to capture our focus in this saturated environment? Allow me to guide you through this concept by focusing on a set of seemingly unrelated pieces of information, and the challenge of connecting them meaningfully. Firstly, consider the inauguration of the largest stadium in Spain, an event graced by a high-level ministerial delegation. Secondly, a peculiar incident where a dog bites an 80-year-old man, necessitating his hospitalization. Thirdly, conflicting statements from government officials about the price of oil, while the Minister of Industry announces it at $60 a barrel, the Minister of Energy claims it has not surpassed $50 a barrel. Attempting to find a connection between these disparate pieces of information can be challenging and illustrates how such unrelated events can lead to mental fragmentation. This fragmentation or information obesity dilutes our focus and is antithetical to the well-established scientific principle that our cognition prefers information, that can be logically sequenced or connected. Disjointed events hinder our ability to critically and logically engage, leading our minds to surrender to the subconscious processing of information, which then absorbs these fragments unquestioningly and without scrutiny. Consider the trivial nature of these pieces of information, what value do they truly add to our understanding or well-being? The inclusion of such minutiae in our daily intake of information serves only to exhaust our cognitive faculties without providing any real benefit. Furthermore, the contradiction between the minister's statements opens our subconscious to accept such inconsistencies without the logical mind's critical engagement, illustrating how contradictions can act as a trigger for subconscious acceptance. Neurobiological specialist Tabius from the University of California rightly pointed out that misleading and abundant information, both visual and verbal, can cause permanent and continuous damage to our minds. Just as we would avoid consuming spoiled or expired food for the sake of our physical health, we should be equally discerning with the information we consume for our mental health. The flood of information not only diminishes our focus but also damages the very cells responsible for cognitive processing, leading to a scattered mind amidst the vast sea of data. Many of our youth, whether school pupils or university students, suffer from this diminished concentration as the cells responsible for thinking in the conscious mind are overwhelmed. It is imperative that we reduce our intake of unnecessary information, allowing only that which is beneficial to enter our minds, ensuring our mental well-being is prioritized over mere information consumption. Peace be upon you, and may you find clarity and focus amidst the information flood.